Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Feeling frustrated? Are you? Are you feeling like life is holding you back? Hmm? Are you feeling like, like people just kind of hold you down? For whatever reason. <clears throat> Do you feel like you are being illegally detained from reaching your goals? from becoming who you want to be, from ministry, finances. A lot of that stuff Satan has assigned to us from childhood. It's called an assignment from the enemy. And he is illegally detaining you. But that can only go on so long. The mocking, the making fun of, people putting you down, people treating you like you're the last one on the list, anybody. You are the last resort. You're not even a resort. <laughs> thank you, but no thank you. People who treat you like you're special, something's wrong with you, kid. You're kind of, <clears throat> you're weird. People treat you like that. You don't fit in. Well, <clears throat> let me say this. Excuse me, guys. God knows. And remember, he's in control. Remember that. When you feel like everybody else is in control but you, God is in control. And he's on your side. Now, here you're walking with him, you've committed your life to him, you're, you may not be stepping straight, but you're doing your best, and you really are genuinely trying, and you're making that connection with God with everything you have. Well, guess what? God has the last word on your life, on your ministry, on your finances, on your circumstance, everything. Your goals and plans. His goals and plans. So when you feel like everybody else is in control but you, remember who orders your steps. Remember that. There are people who get a real quick start. They, they're they just right there, almost at the finish line. They just got all this help and support and people pushing them forward and all kind of encouragement all along the way, you know. You don't. You get the criticism while they get the glory. Am I right or am I wrong? Life happens like that. Life happens like that. And sometimes it may be somebody on your job who has stolen your glory. Yeah, that happens too. So when you see that happening, you have to take your focus off of the thing that's stifling you, off the person that's holding you down, off the people who are stealing your glory. You have to take your sights off of the things that are holding you back. And you have to change your focus. Change your focus. He will keep you in perfect peace if you keep your mind stayed on him. <clears throat> Here's an example of how in control God is. God has a way of using all the things that have come against you in your life, in the church, in your family, and on your job, whatever. He will take those situations and he will work them for you. Let me show you how. What are my analogies? Listen, you have a rubber band, right? A rubber band stretches, stretches. What do some people use rubber bands for? As a slingshot, don't they? Sit in the classroom, they take a little piece of paper ball. They'll sit there and they'll, they'll hold it back pull it back, and then let it go. And try to hit somebody in the head with it. You know, just silly stuff. Picture yourself as that ball 
Or better yet, I got a better picture for you. Picture yourself as an arrow. Somebody has placed you in that boat. And they're pulling you back. They're pulling you back. You're the arrow. Oh, they're pulling you back. They're pulling you back, Jack. Oh, yeah, they're, they're pulling you. Something got a hold on you, baby. They're pulling you back. And you're wondering, you're saying, wait a minute, I'm supposed to be moving forward here. Why am I steadily being pulled back? What is wrong? Hello. Remember I said God uses things? <laughs> well, while the enemy is working so hard and strategizing to pull you back, God's got you lined up at the target. Think about it now. And when... No matter how far back the enemy tries to pull you, God's going to use it in your favor because he knows how far you have to go to get to that target, to get to that goal. Do you hear me? All right. To get to that divine calling, that divine appointment. The plans of God. Listen, he knows what he's doing. Whatever he plans, no matter what the devil tries to do, it's going to still play into God's hands and yours. So here we are. He's pulling the thing back because he's trying to hold you back. He's frustrating your plans. And what does God say? Let go. See, God does it in the fullness of time. He doesn't do it right away. He allows you to be pulled back. And he allows you to be pulled back some more. And he allows you to be pulled back some more. Because he knows how far and high you've got to go. And he makes that enemy aim up higher. Because he knows he's got to get you high and far. So the enemy thinks, he, 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 yeah, I'm going to hold you back, buddy. And God is saying, now, let go. And even though the enemy doesn't want to, he cannot disobey God. So he has to let go. And guess what? You go soaring. Where do you soar? You soar right where God wants you to be. This word is not just for you, baby. It's for me too. You hear me? I'm preaching to myself. God will take you right where he wants you to be. So you have to trust that God is going to work out the plans for your life. That God is going to fulfill his promise of your calling and your ministry. That God is going to fulfill your heart's desire and get you to your destination. Mm -hmm. Now, when you hit that target, God's going to guide you right to the bullseye so that you don't miss the mark. Don't make up your mind you want to change directions. You go where God is sending you. You hear me? Here's another one. This will encourage you. When people try to hold you down, just, just stay down there. We don't need you. Stay down. Stay in your place, baby. I don't know what makes you think God needs you. <laughs> okay. So here we've got people holding you down. Words pinning you down. You're so stupid. Why don't you just go and and, and jump off the freeway? I mean, golly. Nobody want to be bothered with you. <clears throat> you hear me? Excuse me. So here you got pressure. And the devil brings more pressure and you've got problems and you've got weights and you've got responsibilities and you're just, I mean, just encumbered with the weights of life to push you down as low as you can go. Well, see, what Satan doesn't know is God has strategically placed a spring right up under you, a spring, a coil. A supernatural coil. Check it out. The harder and the lower you press that coil, whatever's on it, 
it, it, you can press it all the way down, baby, where it can, cannot go any lower. But when you let go, what happens? You're going to get where God wants you to be. But you have to trust his power. You have to trust in his timing. You have to trust in God's faithfulness and his ability. You hear me? God will perfect that which concerns you. God is well able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that you could ask or even think according to the power that works in you. Don't get off the spring. Stay there. Because when God gives the order to let go, bah! goes the weasel. Baby, you're going to soar. The harder it's pressed down, the higher it shoots up. That's the way God's going to get you where he wants you to go. Some of you will be promoted beyond your wildest dreams. And some of you will go further than you ever thought possible. And all the plans and all the ideas and all the wishes and dreams and aspirations you had will be so far surpassed by what God does in your life. That's right. In the fullness of time. So don't get discouraged. Don't be weary in well-doing. For in due season, you will reap if you faint not. You hear me? The steps of a righteous man are ordered by the Lord and he delights in his way. You trust in the Lord. Wait patiently for him, and he will bring it to pass. God bless you. Read Psalms 37. That should encourage you. Amen.